Hey class, this is Dr. Willis. I'm, I do apologize that this announcement has come to you a little later than normal. Uh, it's been a pretty hectic day here at Southeastern in South Louisiana, uh, but I am here uh, bringing you the announcement even though it's 5.30 in the afternoon where I am. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a few updates on where we are. Uh, we are in module six, and of course we have the Learn Smart activity due this week, and we have a discussion board. Uh, so, of course, the discussion board this week is on reading for fun versus reading for school. Uh, one of the big things I always think about when reading for fun is just the stress level uh, and the level of focus that that has that doesn't have to be there. Really, whenever I'm reading a book that I really enjoy, that's for my for my pleasure, I can relax. I can have my coffee. I can not wear my glasses. I just simply shut down and I enjoy the book. It's not about retaining any information. It's not about studying to present anything. It's just about the joy of the author and the words that he wrote or he or she wrote. But when I'm reading for school or a presentation or anything like that, I have to be attentive. I have to get in a place where I know I can focus, where I won't be distracted. My level of focus has to go from zero to 100 really quick. Uh, and everything has to change. I have to retain information. I may have to take notes. I may have to read aloud. I may have to do a bunch of different things. Uh, but those are some of the major differences between reading for fun and reading for school. So in the discussion board, it's asking you to elaborate on those. Of course, we want to make sure our initial post is done by Thursday at 1159. And we want to be sure that we respond to our peers. Of course, our responses are going to be due Sunday at 11.59. Now, and of course, I'm sorry, the Learn Smart is going to be due Sunday at 11.59 as well. Now, lastly, what I want us to start thinking about this week is the Module 7 paper. Uh, hopefully, by this time, you have began to brainstorm a little bit, jot down some ideas on paper. Uh, each week, we've kind of been building up to this Module 7 paper because it's, it is one of our largest assignments. So hopefully, you've got some thoughts uh, in your mind and you put them on paper. Hopefully you've contacted the writing center if you need that help uh, because that can be extremely beneficial uh, in having a successful module seven paper as well. So a quick recap, learn smart activity due Sunday at 1159. Your initial post uh, in the discussion board due tomorrow, Thursday at 1159 and your response to your peers due Sunday at 1159. And I always try to end talking about past due work. Try to get that to me. If you have any past due Learn Smarts, the past due journal for module three, the module two, my success plan activity, and even the module one quiz. If you can get that to me, even though it's late, please do so. You can still earn points. I cannot accept any past due discussion board posts. I do apologize. But any other past due work, get that to me. All right. You all contact me if you need me. I'm always available. All right. You all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.